Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at polygons today. We're going to say what is a polygon, and then we're going to classify some polygons as well. So let's take a look. First of all, we need some vocabulary. Um, I'm going to be talking about the sides of polygons, and that's like this here. It's the straight edges of the polygon. The vertex is where those two sides meet, all right? And sometimes called the points or the corners, all right? We're going to use the word vertex. So the vertex of the polygon and the side of the polygon, often called the edge, but we're going to use the word side to you know, use the same vocabulary throughout. All right. So let's take a look at what is a polygon. A polygon must be a closed figure, the sides must be straight, and each vertex has only two sides connecting to it. So looking at these four shapes, can we classify which ones are polygons and which ones are not? Hopefully you were able to identify that these three shapes are not polygons. Look back up here so we can see them a little bit more clearly. This one here is not a closed figure. It has an opening in it. Therefore, it's not a polygon. This one has curved edges. And this one here has this kind of crossover where one vertex would have four line segments coming into it. All right? So there are three examples of shapes that are not polygons. This one, however, is a polygon. It's the one we used in the previous slide as well. It's a triangle. It has three vertices joined by three straight sides. All right, so now that we know what a polygon is, let's go ahead and classify some polygons. According to you, we're going to look at side length and angle measurements. An equilateral polygon is a polygon that has the same length sides. We classify those by using these tick marks. So if you have one tick mark, and it's consistent that it's one tick mark all the way around the outside, that means each of those side lengths is congruent. Same with this polygon down here. This is a hexagon. has six sides that are all the same length. Um, this here angle, by the way, when it kind of caves into the shape is called concave. And it doesn't matter if it's a concave polygon like this one or all side lengths popping out like a convex polygon over here. Whether it's concave or convex does not make a difference in classifying by the side length. So you see that those, those side lengths are the same. Equilateral, equal side lengths. An equiangular polygon is a polygon that has all equal angles. This triangle, for example, has three congruent angles, or three angles that are exactly the same measurement. Therefore, we call it equiangular, all right? So we would, again, measure just the inside angle here, and that is congruent. This um, hexagon here, we've kind of spread it out. It's very clear that the side lengths are not the same on this, but it is still classified as an equiangular polygon because all interior angles, all six interior angles, are a congruent measurement. When a polygon, this is a very special polygon, although it's um, so special that it very rarely happens naturally and is so irregular, really. We call it regular, even though it doesn't happen very often. But it looks nice, so maybe that's why they call it regular. I don't know. But a regular polygon is a way to say that it has both equilateral, in other words, all side lengths are the same, and equiangular, meaning that all of the interior angle measurements are also the same. So you'll see on this octagon, all the side lengths are the same, all the interior angle measurements are congruent. Therefore, it is a regular polygon. We have our triangle over here. This is a regular triangle. And that means it's an equilateral triangle and an equiangular. The side lengths are the same, so it's equilateral. The angle measurements are the same, therefore it is equiangular. So we'll call it regular because it's both side lengths and angle measurements are congruent. Okay, so now that you know everything you need to know about classifying polygons, let's go ahead and, and have a little bit of a test. Time to answer. Is this polygon equilateral, equiangular, regular, or none of the above? 
hopefully you had an answer that this was equilateral. We show that using these tick marks on each side, showing that each side length is congruent. All right, let's try another one. Is this rectangle equilateral, equiangular, or regular, or none of the above? Did you say that this was equiangular? Each angle of a rectangle is exactly 90 degrees. They're all right angles. So because they have four congruent angles, it's equiangular. You can clearly see that the side lengths are not the same. So therefore, it's not equilateral or regular. But this rectangle certainly does have equal angle measurements. Let's look at this shape next. We have a triangle. Is this triangle equilateral, equiangular, regular, or none of the above? Here we have it. This one here is another regular triangle. I, again, what that means, it has equal angle measurements. All three angles are congruent, and it has equal side lengths. All the side lengths are the same measurement. So that would make it both equilateral and equiangular. And the way that we say that is that it is a regular triangle. Let's take a look at our next shape. Ooh. Is this polygon equilateral, equiangular, regular, or none of the above? Here's another example of an equilateral polygon. That means all five side lengths are the same. So this one here is a pentagon, an equilateral pentagon, five sides, and all sides are congruent. Same measurement. OK, and our final shape here we've got, we're going to classify this circle. Is it equilateral, equiangular, regular, or none of the above? All right. Did I fool anyone? All right. This is definitely none of the above. This is not a polygon at all. Remember the rules for what a polygon is. A polygon can't have curved edges. So this one here is not even a polygon, let alone being any of these things. So we would select none of the above for this circle. It's a circle, not a polygon. All right. Hopefully that lesson was helpful for you. Remember the, the uh, properties of what a polygon is and how to classify them by both angle and side measurement.